I just don't understand this. I just don't get it. Man, I don't know how to decipher classic literature. I'm a lax bro, and lax bro do what lax bro wants. I'm done with this. Lax bro's going to bed. Little lax bro doesn't think classic literature is important. I'll show him how to analyze. Hey dude, don't freak out. If you actually knew how to analyze literature, you know that I was Edna Pontier from that classic book you're reading. But I don't know how to analyze classic literature. Do you think I've been treading water for over a century just to hear you babble? Come with me. Welcome to my study. Hey, T. Yes, to help you concentrate. So just to start this little session, how many times have you actually attempted reading this book before you gave up and threw it against your wall? Uh, probably like less than half. Well, that's your first mistake. When analyzing classical literature, you should always reread the text more than once, asking yourself questions like, why did Edna kill herself? Why don't I like my own children? Why didn't I start things with Robert earlier? Will I need this? No. So what do I need to do to find that stuff out? Like I said, little wax bro, even though it's not cool to read classic literature, if you scan over it once or twice more after reading something you don't understand, it might make a little more sense to you. <laughs> kind of like scanning over that crowd of cheering fans after I made my last goal. Sure, I guess, if that's what makes you sleep at night. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. While you're reading, you should keep a journal by you to put aside when special themes or ideas or symbols or characters or even special events happen. <laughs> Alright, kind of like the reading log Ms. Dobson makes us do. Yes, exactly like the reading log Ms. Dobson makes you do. Now instead of playing lacrosse all day, why don't you try to actually do it? Okay, crazy Victorian era lady Edna, I will. Okay, let's move on to the next step. While you are using your special journal that you will be keeping notes in, you should also keep track of your own personal feelings. Like how things make you feel, like when I commit suicide, does it make you sad? Or when Robert and me have a terrible, tragic love. You should feel freaking bad for us. Well, lacrosse players don't have feelings. Just go with it, little lax boy. I don't even love my own children, but let's move on. When you finally finish this most amazing book about my most amazing life story, you will need to go back and figure out which passages actually lead up to the main points. Underline them, write them down, reanalyze them, and see what leads to me ending my fateful life. Stop that! <laughs> If you followed my easy steps, you would not need to use your Spark Notes book. Well, I guess that's what Ms. Dobson probably would want me to do. I guess I will read my book. So basically, the last and final thing you need is after you go through and analyze all this text, you can actually use it in the real world. Like you can use it in writings for essays on your beautiful AP tests. You could use it in discussions when smart people talk to you and not use your little lax language. And you might even learn something, just to learn. Top cheese. Like how I learned how to make my lettuce fly out of my bucket. <sighs> okay, I'm leaving. Back to 1899, where people have real manners. Hopefully, something got knocked into that hard head of yours, and you'll actually be able to do your stupid summer reading. Well, it was nice talking to you, Ghost of Christmas Past. I hope you have a nice journey home. Oh gosh, it's Edna Pontier, and I'm going back to 1899 now. Thank you. Why, hello, world! What an indubitably great night of sleep I just had. Why, that was probably the best night of sleep I've ever had. Ah, I get to read my new book now. Excellent. Why, who could have 
possibly left the microphone off during the final and last scene of filming. Why, this is just uh, despicable. Well, I must say, my newfound accent and intelligence have brought me to greater and new heights in my search for self-awareness, just like Edna from this here book. Ah, yes. The uh, Miss... Miss Dobson would be disgruntled if I did not finish my homework and my summer reading and finish reading and analyzing this great text.